Florida's coastal waters. A predator that survived the dinosaurs. A relentless hunter that has dominated the swamps for millions of years. But something is changing. Scientists are baffled. Reports have begun to emerge of something unusual, almost impossible. Apex predators being hunted. Some found injured. Others beheaded. What could possibly threaten one of North America's most fearsome creatures? What would be capable of ripping the head off a predator armored by ancient scales? The answer will surprise you. And it all begins in little explored estuaries, where fresh water meets salt water, where worlds collide. To understand this mystery, we need to talk about a unique ecosystem, Florida's coastal estuaries. These environments where rivers meet the ocean create perfect conditions for one of nature's most surprising interactions. For years, biologists have observed something strange. Freshwater predators invading coastal territories. James Nefung, a researcher from Kansas State University, decided to investigate. What he discovered would change our understanding of these predators. Nefung accomplished something extraordinary. He pumped the stomachs of over 500 live American alligators over the course of a decade. Dangerous work, disgusting work, but necessary work. And the results were shocking. Inside these freshwater predators, he found remains of creatures that shouldn't be there. Marine species. Ocean predators. Four different species that had never been documented before in this context. But it doesn't stop there. Researching historical records, Nafang discovered something even more disturbing. In 1877, near Jupiter, Florida, hundreds of American alligators gathered in a cove. Fish trapped by the tide attracted them. But they weren't alone. Hundreds of ocean predators detected the blood in the water and followed. What happened was an epic battle. Witnesses reported waves stained with blood. For days, beaches up to 80 miles away were covered with carcasses of both species. It was a true mutual massacre. Before revealing the mysterious predator that's hunting Florida's alligators, if you're enjoying this content and want to discover more mysteries of nature, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Now let's get to the revelation. The mysterious predator is the shark. More specifically, various shark species that share the same coastal territories as American alligators. Nafeng's study, published in the Southeastern Naturalist Journal, documented for the first time a widespread interaction between alligators and elasmobranchs. He confirmed four cases where alligators consumed lemon sharks, nurse sharks, bonnethead sharks, and Atlantic stingrays. But here's the most fascinating part. This is a reciprocal predation relationship. It's not just the alligator eating the shark. It's a deadly game where both can be predator or prey. The deciding factor. Size. The frequency of one predator eating the other is really a size dynamic, explains Nafang. If a small shark swims near a large alligator, the reptile won't let the opportunity pass. But the opposite is also true. And about ripping heads off? In 2014, in Australia, a saltwater crocodile named Brutus, a giant measuring 18 feet long, was photographed with a bull shark in his jaws. Brutus, who was 80 years old and curiously had lost his front leg, possibly in a previous fight with other crocodiles or sharks, was seen chomping down on the shark's head. Bull sharks are particularly dangerous because they have the strongest bite force proportionally of all shark species. Around 6,000 newtons of force, even greater than the great white shark. They can definitely decapitate smaller crocodiles or alligators. One of these records occurred in 2025 in Australia, when one of these sharks grabbed a crocodile and easily tore a piece off it, showing that ripping the heads off reptiles can also be done. But here's the balance. While bull sharks and other larger species can attack young or smaller alligators, adult alligators are equally capable of devouring small and medium-sized sharks. Why does this happen? 
three main reasons. First, habitat overlap. American alligators aren't just freshwater predators. GPS tracking has revealed that they regularly travel between rivers and coastal estuaries. They can survive in salt water for extended periods, especially after heavy rains when freshwater floats over the salt water. Second, opportunistic behavior. Both are highly opportunistic predators. When presented with potential prey, they can overpower. They rarely let it pass. It doesn't matter if it's a fellow apex predator. Third, shared hunting zones. Estuaries serve as nurseries for young sharks, exactly where alligators also hunt. It's a recipe for violent encounters. In 2022, a fisherman recorded an American alligator attempting to attack a young bull shark. This time, the shark managed to escape, proving that the alligator doesn't always win. In 2021, another video captured a shark giving a territorial bite to a young alligator's leg during a dispute over food. Neither backed down easily. What have we learned from all this? Nature is much more complex than we imagine. There is no absolute king. There's context, size, opportunity, and sometimes pure luck. These discoveries raise important conservation questions. How many young sharks are being consumed by alligators in nursery areas? How does this affect populations of threatened species? The populations of both predators are smaller today than they were in the past, which explains why massive encounters like the one in 1877 are rare nowadays. But as coastal habitats change and populations fluctuate, these interactions may become more common. One thing is certain. In the coastal waters of Florida, Georgia, and along the Gulf of Mexico, two of the planet's most fearsome predators regularly meet. And when that happens, only the largest, fastest, and most opportunistic survives. The ripped-off head? Yes, it can happen. Especially when larger bull sharks confront smaller alligators. But statistically, Alligators are winning this battle more frequently, simply because they encounter young sharks in their hunting territories more regularly. So next time you think about apex predators, remember this. Even the most fearsome have their challenges. In the murky waters where rivers meet oceans, a silent war happens every single day. Alligators versus sharks. Teeth against jaws. Millions of years of evolution against millions of years of evolution. And in this battle, there's no permanent winner, only survivors. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next content. And there's a special video I left as a gift for you right there on the screen. Don't miss it. Until the next discovery.